and fun. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. You gotta love this channel. It's New York. That's right. Thank you, John. Hello and good afternoon, homies. What's up? It is your pal, Alan the Homie. It is Saturday, April 6, 2024. How's everybody doing? Lisa, UK girl, and cool guy Ricardo are here in my mod squad. Hello, and Wolfgang. Hey, Luna. My mod squad is filling up. I got three mod squad members here. How you doing? Nick Johnson is also here. Hello, Nick. Yvonne Hernandez is also here. Hello, Yvonne. Welcome everybody, I am here at Grand Central Terminal, here for the Frida Kahlo exhibit, and we're going to go and explore and have a little fun. I hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Let's go have some fun, guys. Here we go. Welcome to everybody. I know I'm a little bit early. I said about one o'clock I was gonna start, so I'm about 25 minutes early. Rev Jenny, hey Rev Jen, how you doing? LV Original is also here. And by the way, guys, let's all welcome LV Original as a member of my mod squad. L, congratulations. You are now a member of my mod squad. Welcome. And JD here is joining us from the Canadian Rockies. Hello, JD. Welcome. I am here at Grand Central Terminal for the Frida Kahlo exhibit. I hope you guys enjoy. And by the way, LV Original is going to be here tomorrow. Can't wait. So I'm looking forward to seeing you, Elle. And let's go have some fun, guys. Let me flip that camera. It's really not that crowded here. No, uh, Luna. So the name of the exhibit is called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. And there is Frida Kahlo. For those of you that don't know who Frida Kahlo is, she was a Mexican artist. So we're going to go in, and the exhibit is free. It's okay. No, no, not at all, not at all. Oh, thank you, Will. And I'm proud to have you as one of my mods. So glad you're part of the mod squad, L. I was gonna surprise you tomorrow, but I'm glad you're here. D. Michael, how you doing, D? How you doing? And hello to Unhappy Alien. How you doing, Unhappy? I'm, <laughs> I'm nobody's unhappy alien. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, unhappy alien. So again, the name of the exhibit is Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. Salt Lake Snow Bunny. Hey, Salt Lake. Hey, you doing? So again, we are here at Grand Central Terminal. Special Frida Kahlo exhibit. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you. Alan is everyone's home. You got that right. Salt Lake Snow Bunny calling me a rock star. Alan the rock star. Guys, please check out Rev Jenny's uh, latest video that she just posted. Check out her channel, Rev Jenny Osario. Please check that out. And Jack is here. Hey, Jack. Please check out Jack's Instagram page at major underscore minis. All you have to do is just put a little underscore in between the word major and minis. So check out his site. Now, I had seen a couple of years ago, more than a couple of years, more like 
maybe four years ago. I had seen an exhibit at the Brooklyn Museum by Frida Kahlo. Thank you, uh, Luna. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. You know what to do. Smash that like button, guys. And if you're new to the channel, which I know that everybody in here right now is not, but if you are new, <laughs> you know what to do. And Greg B is joining us. Hello, Greg B. So when I'm done with the stream, I'm also going to be posting some information about Frida Kahlo. For those of you, again, that are not familiar with her and her artwork and her life. She had a very, very difficult life. She was injured early in her life. But she, uh, she overcame that injury through her artwork. Luna saying Mick Jagger would have loved being there. I know, Luna. It's a shame you couldn't have met me. But again... Some more of Frida's artwork. And we'll be seeing a lot of her uh, things in this in this exhibit and jack just sent us a four dollar 99 cent super sticker thank you so much jack thank you so much jack hershey's kisses to you how sweet it is let's give you how sweet it is jack give me a second to get to the graphic oh wrong one wrong one there it is how sweet it is. Thank you so much, Jack. Hershey's kisses to you. You know what it's time for? Hershey's kisses to Jack. Let's give him some real Hershey's kisses. Zoom in. Extreme close up. Whoop. Whoop. Hershey's kisses to you. Thank you so much, Jack. Ooh, let me straighten that out. If I can. I can. There we go. And let's put that up there. There we go. Luna wants to know what the weather is like. It's kind of chilly out. And hey, Court, you're looking is here. Hey, Court, you. Hey, you doing? I'm so glad to see you. Uh, Court, you're looking, asking if there was an uh, admission to the exhibit. Uh, no, it's free. It's totally free free of charge totally free of charge okay so let's move along let's take a look at some of what's going on here so some of the recipes from Frida's Kitchen Lenguas de gato. Beat, beat six egg whites until stiff peaks. Then add 150 grams of sifted flour, 100 grams of powdered sugar, 50 grams of melted butter, and a tablespoon of vanilla. Mix everything until a smooth dough forms. Then put it in a pastry bag and pipe the tongues about 10 centimeters long. Bake them on grease trays for about 20 minutes. And this is what they look like. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh. 
Lisa UK girl just posted Major Minnie's Instagram. Thank you so much, Lisa. Lisa's such an angel. Thank you for doing that, Lisa. And these are all from the book Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. Yes, everybody, please follow Major Minis on his Instagram page. I know he would appreciate that. Ah, mole, mole de olla. And I'm not going to read every single one of the recipes. So, Frida Kahlo was born in 1907. She passed in 1954. The most powerful art of life is to turn pain into a talisman that heals. A butterfly is reborn, blooming into a festival of colors. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, Court. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. And I just got an Instagram message from Virginia. Virginia is with family right now. She had some family business to take care of. So I don't think she's going to make it into the live stream today. But thank you, Virginia. I know that you're probably going to watch later on. And hey, Leela. Leela saying she loves Frida so much. Of course, Leela and her daughter Adriana. So again, all of this exhibit is from Frida Kahlo's book called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. And this is a picture of Frida Kahlo on the phone. And it says in quotes, I last as long as you take care of me. I speak to you as you treat me and I believe you as much as you show me. Frida Kahlo again, 1907 to 1954. Hello to Lily's Corner. Hello, Lily's Corner. Oh, it's it's Alicia. Oh, Alicia Riggs. Hey, Alicia. Chilposonte de Pollo. Again, I'm not going to read every single one of the recipes, but I'll keep the phone. I'll keep the uh, phone on here so that you guys can read it. Yes, she did caught you. Yeah, she did. She passed away at a very young age. Unfortunately, what happened was she had gotten seriously injured in a bus accident. And she had become paralyzed but that didn't stop her from doing her artwork that did not stop her Leela saying Frida made such an impact in her short life she has forever changed my love for art absolutely and she was definitely a very very talented artist 
Yes, JD, absolutely. Frida had a very rough life, absolutely. Absolutely. Arroz Valenciano. This is a rice dish. Arroz is rice. Luna sending Pomeranian hugs. Thank you, Luna. Oh, to HC. Hey, there she is. There's Virginia. Hi, Virginia. Oh, okay. What you looking is saying I'm not into art, although I do appreciate it but I've always liked the work of Andy Warhol. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna read the, uh, the information on every single one of these. And if you're interested, you could always pick up the book. Again, the book is called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. Here it is. And this exhibit is presented by Jarritos, Jarritos Soft Drinks. And uh, Virginia's saying, I thought I had to get my granddaughter from dance, but I don't. So I'm glad you're here, uh, Virginia. Lisa's saying, I love Andy Warhol and Frida Kahlo. And yes, L, please say hi to your mom. Hello, Dolores. So again, if any of you are interested in any of these recipes, here you go. Here's the recipe for the arroz valenciano. So I like asking if I have a favorite artist of all time. Oh, good question. Good question. I, I mean, I've been to art museums before um do i have a favorite artist i don't know that's a very good question and for those of you that aren't aware we did have we did feel an earthquake yesterday here in new york city there was an earthquake that hit 4.8 on the richter scale uh it was the the uh the center of the earthquake or the epicenter was in a town in New Jersey called Tewksbury, New Jersey. And it's about 50 miles uh, west of New York City. Tewksbury, New Jersey. T-E-W-K-S-B-U-R-Y. Tewksbury, New Jersey. And we felt it here. 10.23 a.m. I was in the middle of work. And all of a sudden, <laughs> everything started shaking. And I said, uh-oh. Luna saying two earthquakes. Well, I didn't. Feel, I did not feel the second one. Sally Scipio said she felt it in Brooklyn. And hello to Sally. Lisa saying glad all you New Yorkers are okay. Thank you so much, Lisa. And Irina, Irina is joining us. Hello, Irina. Well, it, it's in Lebanon Township, New Jersey, but the actual epicenter was in Tewksbury, New Jersey. And here's another picture of Frida. Frida Kahlo at the Blue House in Coyoacan, Nineteen forty. In nineteen thirty nine, Frida and Diego divorced. On August twenty first, nineteen forty, Trotsky is assassinated in his house in Coyoacan by Jaime Ramon Mercader. On December eighth, nineteen forty, Frida and Diego remarried for the second time. And hello to Dino Marshall. Hi, Dino. Uh, 
Uh, we're not gonna make a big deal over good morning, good afternoon. It's morning someplace. <laughs> it's morning someplace. Okay, and this one is Frida Kahlo with friends and family in Zochimilko. And it's a picture from left to right, and I'll show you the picture. Here it is. From left to right, uh, Antonio Pinedo Kahlo, Cristina Kahlo, and Isolda Pinedo Kahlo. And it says, if there was something Frida could truly enjoy, it was taking rides on the Trajineras within the canals of uh, Xochimilco in Mexico, Mexico, admiring the flowers and spending time with her friends. And there it is. And this next picture is Frida Kahlo with her sister Christina and niece Isola, first and second from left to right, in the dining room of the Blue House in 1942. One of the things Frida enjoyed the most was eating, especially delicious Mexican dishes that she could share with her friends and family. She used to say that life happened in the kitchens of houses amidst the warmth of the fire and the aromas of the dishes. So here it is. It's okay, Leela. <laughs> Leela's saying, sorry, everyone. I am a total geek when it comes to Frida. Aw. And Lisa said that she went to a tiny pop-up, a Frida Kahlo pop-up in London in 2018. It was just a tiny room which they recreated into her house. She says it was so cool and got a free tote bag. Nice! Oh, that's awesome, Lisa. That's awesome. Hey, Myrna's joining us. Hi, Myrna. Myrna Bergen joining us here. We are up to 28 people here in the chat. Welcome to everybody. Happy Saturday to everybody. I hope you're enjoying your Saturday. Thank you for spending part of your Saturday with us here at Grand Central Terminal. Terminal. <laughs> Oh, my pleasure, Salt Lake. Salt Lake saying she's never heard of Frida Kahlo. Hello, Gia. Gia joining us. And El saying that those plates behind Frida and her family are very antique, and I'm sure they're expensive if they're still around because they did have they hold value. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And here's another picture of Frida, taken on October 16, 1932. And it says, I paint myself because I am the one I know best. Again, Frida Kahlo, 1907 to 1954, short, simple, and direct. This quote speaks to Frida's candid identity and her way of viewing life.
And this picture is of Cristina and Frida Kahlo, circa 1954. Frida and Cristina were separated by 10 months in age, which made them very close. Frida took care of Cristina when she was left alone with two children, while Cristina always attended to Frida's needs, who, due to the accident in her youth, had to undergo multiple surgeries. And this next picture is from the book Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. Recipe cards from the collection of Isolde Picalo, from the collection of Isolde Picalo. Learning the recipes of the Kahlo family allows us to delve into the customs and traditions that shape them, their creativity, the era, and the importance for them of spending dedicated time with family. Hello to Enjoy Nantucket. Hello, Enjoy. They do have nice eyebrows, right, Elle? Hey, Gorge. Gorge is here. Are they serving refreshments? I don't know. That's a very good question. So some of the recipe cards. Daryl Janik, hello, Daryl, joining us from Chicago. How you doing, uh, Daryl? Okay, here's the next one. And Frida Kahlo at the Blue House in Koyo Akan with her nephews Isolda and Antonio Pinedo Kahlo. It says Frida enjoyed spending time with her nieces and nephews Isolda and Antonio. Over time, her bond and closeness with Isolda grew stronger. And Holly Sheet is joining us. Hello, Holly. If you are just joining us, guys, we are here at Grand Central Terminal here in Manhattan for the special Frida Kahlo exhibit. This next picture says... Frida Kahlo at age 19, February 7th, 1926. Just six months after suffering the serious accident that would change her life, Frida Kahlo was leaving school with her childhood sweetheart, Alejandro Gomez Arias. The bus they were traveling on was hit by a tram, leaving her on the brink of death. So that's what I had mentioned to you earlier. Boudin Indio, a sauce is made as for red enchiladas or mole. And again, I won't be reading all of these recipes to you. I'm just going to read you the basic information uh, regarding Frida. But you can, again, you can read the information for yourself. Hey, Lizzo is here, out and about with yours truly, Lizzo. Hey, Lizzo. So great to see you. Lizzo, thank you for being here again. We are at Grand Central Terminal. A special Frida Kahlo exhibit is called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico.
And again, it is presented by a Jarritos. Jarritos is a Mexican soda, a sloth drink. It's also presented by Vogue magazine. Again, the name of the book is called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. <laughs> and some tableware from the Carlo family collection. Life is what happens between the aromas of the kitchen and the dishes made with love. Frida enjoyed life to the fullest with her love, her family, and above all, her beloved friends. In this year, Leon Trotsky arrives in Mexico. And this picture was taken of Frida by the pool, circa 1937. And this was a group portrait from left to right, Adriana Kahlo, Christina Kahlo, Frida Kahlo with age 19, dressed as a man, interesting. Carmen Romero, who's a cousin of the Kahlo sisters and Carlos Veraza, February 7th, 1926. And it says Frida sometimes took her father's suits and adjusted them to fit her so she could wear them. So here it is. And yes, Frida was Mexican, yes. Okay, this next one is a family portrait, February 7, 1926. Undoubtedly, Frida Kahlo's family life provided her with the space to develop and achieve her goals. First as a high school student, then as a medical student, and finally as the great artist we know today. The sisters formed a support network amongst themselves with Christine, with Christina, her younger sister, being the closest to Frida. And this next picture is Frida and Christina Kahlo and unknown individuals in front of a locomotive in 1931. Uh, it says in 1929, Frida and Diego got married for the first time and by 1931, Frida and her husband were living in San Francisco. These are beautiful. Aren't these gorgeous guys?
They were saying, OMG, I love those. Aren't they gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. And they do sell merchandise here. Here is the book, Los Sabores de Mi Nike. How you doing? Fine, thanks. How much is the book? This is 130. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. She was such a talented artist. Oh. Yeah. She actually can cook. Can cook. And yeah, the uh, now these are all recipes that she made, right? Or well, kind of. Oh, okay. She, she can cook because right. of her illness. Exactly, exactly, but right. She loves the cooking and she loves gastronomy and everything that. Okay. Like that. So she right. make everyone uh -huh. make the things she wants. Exactly. So she was like, okay, no, I want uh, the potatoes. Okay. Like these. Right. I want uh, beans like these. I right. want the salad in this form. Okay. Because she said. Uh, food wasn't just for it and that's it. Right, right, right. She said food, it's a form of art. Exactly, exactly, yes. So she made a lot of things wow. with food and she write it and collect it right. in, in recipes. Right. But <laughs> this is a fun fact. Uh -huh. She didn't write it in the correct measures. Oh, okay. She just said like, okay, you look, you use uh, five pesos of beans. Okay. A handful of sugar, uh, a little bit of cinnamon. Right, right. <laughs> a handful, I mean. Uh -huh, a handful, yeah. <laughs> right. So we have to translate it to actual measures. Exactly. So, okay, like five grams, five kilograms. Got it. Wow. To a little. <laughs> wow. And we put it here. The dishes, the uh -huh. dishes are made by Monica Patiño. Oh, she okay. cooked them. Uh -huh. And the photograph is uh -huh. made by Flavio Bizarri. Oh, okay. okay. Those are two important figures. Uh -huh. I think she actually works here in New York. Oh. And he is the, he's one of the famous. Uh -huh. food photograph photographers in Latin America. Wow, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah, it's a beautiful book. Wow. It's a deluxe edition, actually. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, it's, it's meant to buy it and right. stay with you forever. For the rest of your life. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Um, let's see. Just another. Wow. Thank you very much for sharing oh, that. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And here's another Frida Kahlo book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she isn't working, okay? I mean, he was working. Whatever, whatever the point is, maybe. 
Viva la vida, live the life. So beautiful. Yes, one hundred and thirty dollars is pretty expensive. <laughs> oh, can I zoom in on the barcode? Oh, sure, on the QR code. Here we go. So this one was the barcode for Viva La Vida. Some of them are shorts. And here's another QR code for Frida Contempo. The artist was Mariana Lagunas. Now I don't know if all of the QR codes are for each piece of artwork. I was saying she might go live from the airport because her flight doesn't leave until 1 p.m. Okay, oh cool. All right, Elle. We'll definitely tune in for that. to see if I can try and get a selfie from here from the butterfly the neon lights you can see it's beautiful I'll try and aim the camera at me and then I'll be able to take a uh, a screenshot at a later time Virginia saying they do have books and prints on Amazon not expensive yeah, because $130 for that book is very, very expensive. Something I just cannot afford at this time. Okay. Are you... Okay. All right. I'm gonna flip the camera. Front and center. I can't get the whole butterfly. Oh, I tried. You see if I move up a little. I have to move over this way. Oh, I tried guys, but you get the gist. You get the gist guys. Lovely wings. Thank you. Enjoy Nantucket. Okay guys, now, check out some of the actual dishes. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Virginia. A little butterfly emoji. So. Fasoon Bakam. Hello, Fasoon. Aloha. Joining us from Hawaii.
And you see some of the Jarito soda on the table. See if I can zoom in on. We were saying so glad she has not been forgotten. Absolutely. Marina asking, what does the soda taste like? Um, tastes like any other kind of soda. They have orange. Um, they have a fruit punch. They have a cola. I've tasted it before. It's not that bad. Not that bad. But they do have different flavors. Hey, Emily's joining us. Hey, Em. Joining us here in the Mod Squad. Hello, Emily. And guys, in case you didn't notice, we do have a brand new member of our Mod Squad. LV Original is now a member of the Mod Squad. Please welcome her. And LV Original will be joining us here in New York City tomorrow. And of course, on Monday, I will be live streaming the solar eclipse. I have my special glasses, so we will be live streaming the eclipse from New York City. Gorge saying pineapple is his favorite. Yes, they do have a pineapple soda, a Jarito's pineapple, yes. Irma saying what a nice butterfly. Isn't that beautiful? Let me zoom out. And once again, yes, congratulations to LV Original. And a record player. Gia saying she's going to sleep now, very tired. No problem, Gia. Have a good rest. I'm glad you were here joining us. Thank you so much. Hey, Cole Sloth is here. Hey, Cole. <laughs> Cole saying people are selling fake solar eclipse glasses. I would buy myself a welding mask just to be sure. <laughs> Have a good night, Gia. Thank you for joining us as we continue. Some more photographs of Frida Kahlo. And look at me, it's your homie. Hey, everybody. And yes, you're you're absolutely right, Myrna. A welding mask will not protect you. Irma saying, I like that kitchen, yes. There's your homie. Myrna sending a whole bunch of home emojis. 
Thank you, Myrna. Blowing a lot of Hershey's Kisses. Thank you so much, Myrna. Let's blow some Hershey's Kisses back. Hershey's Kisses. Guys, once again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I do appreciate it. And of course, guys, if you would please leave a comment at the end of the live stream, I do appreciate that as well. I always respond. And yes, there's Diego. Yes, that's right. And here's some more of Frida's artwork. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Yvonne asking, when was the last time I went to the Bronx? Uh, the last time I was in the Bronx was uh, for a Yankee game for Old Timers Day back in September. Here's some more Frida's artwork. Zoom in and drop. And Brett M is here. Hey, Brett. Sixteenth September, nineteen twenty eight. And Says de Julio de nineteen twenty four. So these are from all different dates. And yes, Luna, you could even do some of this. And Irma's is asking, what was the name of the expensive book? Again, it's the book that they're featuring here called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. There's the title. That's the title of the book. camera right <laughs> check that out guys well yes I am zoomed in I am zoomed in I'll zoom out but yeah that's the camera there it is doesn't look that big now <laughs> Life Magazine. Uh, 
<laughs> Coach saying to Elle, congratulations for winning the twerking dance competition. <laughs> Oh, yes, and happy birthday to Mick Jagger. Myrna saying it was a Polaroid. Oh, I didn't even realize that. It's a Polaroid camera. Coastal saying, are these items from her actual house? I would assume that they are, yes. I would assume that they are. Except for the Jarito soda. That's grapefruit flavor. And right next to it is the cola flavor. That's cranberry. And of course the orange. Well, I mean, they sell Doritos in the supermarkets and in the bodegas, so who knows? They could replace it every now and then. It may not, may not be flat. Hello to Sharon De Pasquale. Hey, Sharon. What you're looking is asking if there was a reason why they chose now to have this exhibit or was it just a random decision? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if maybe this is an anniversary or I am not sure, caught you. I am not sure. but just some absolutely, absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous artwork. And again, Frida Kahlo was such a talented, talented artist. And it's a shame that she had to pass at such an early age. More statues. And again, about four or five years ago, I did see a Frida Kahlo exhibit at the Brooklyn Museum. They had, uh, they had an exhibit. As a matter of fact, I do have a picture. Give me a second, I'll show it to you. There it is. There's your homie. Look how young I am. Look how young the homie is. And this was again taken at the Brooklyn Museum. A very young looking homie. Holly, she's saying, I really like your tour of the exhibit, Alan. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Virginia. Virginia's saying, wow, good looking, Alan. Thank you. And look at me now. <laughs> look at me now. I've gotten so old. But you know something? You're only as old as you feel. Remember that. You're only as old as you feel. But yeah, I have gotten old. Hmm. <laughs> Goes what's saying? I didn't know Frida was so tall compared to Alan. Yes, and she's saying uh, Virginia's saying I see your nephew's resemblance of you. 
Believe it or not, my nephew has an exact resemblance of my dad when my dad was younger. But thank you, Virginia. Holly Sheet saying the Brooklyn Museum is highly underrated. I know. And that museum really is nice. It's a beautiful, beautiful museum. Oh, thank you, Holly. Holly saying, you look aged like a fine wine. <laughs> and Virginia saying, nah, we're, we're all getting old. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Lisa saying, you're youthful and full of fun. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Hershey's kisses to everybody. Thank you so much. And Leela just sent a $5 super chat saying, thanks, Alan, for showing this awesome exhibit. Oh, you're so welcome, Leela. Thank you. Thank you to both you and Adriana. Thank you so much. Hershey's kisses to you. Let's give you the old how sweet it is. There we go. Thank you so much, Leela. Hershey's kisses to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How sweet it is. You are awesome. Thank you so much, Leela, to you and Adriana. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So these are all the sponsors for this exhibit. Again, it's called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. Sponsored by Jaritos, Vogue Magazine. And Lala, also Ibarra chocolate, Ibarra. So these are all the sponsors of this fantastic exhibit. Again, the exhibit is free. It's only open until tomorrow, guys. So if you're in the New York City area, come on down. Again, it's in Vanderbilt Hall here at Grand Central Terminal. little taste in Mexico. Oh, and Brett M gifted a membership. Oh, wow. Brett M, thank you. And it was given to Nick Johnson. All right, Brett, thank you so much. And Desi Des is joining us. Hey, Des. Desi Des, hello. Brett M, you get Hershey's kisses. Hershey's kisses to Brett M for gifting a membership to Nick Johnson. Thank you so, so much, Brett M. That is so awesome. I gotta thank you so much, Brett M. You are awesome. Thank you. Hershey's Kisses, how sweet it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brett. You are awesome. And Desi Des joining us in the Mod Squad. Hello, Desi. So great to see you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us here today. We are again here at Grand Central Terminal. Here for the Frida Kahlo exhibit called Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. And it really isn't a very big exhibit, guys. But again, it is here at Vanderbilt Hall, here at Grand Central Terminal. Desi Des just sent a $4.99 super sticker. Thank you, Desi. Oh my goodness. Desi Des, thank you. You know what it's time for. What's it time for, guys? There it is. How sweet it is. Thank you so much, Desi. Hershey's kisses to you, Desi Des. Here we go. Thank you. Mm, Desi Des, a $4.99 super sticker. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hershey's kisses to both Desi Des, to Brett M for his gifted membership. Let's give some Hershey's kisses. Give me a second. There they are. Extreme close. 
Extreme close up. Hershey's kisses. Thank you so much, Desi. You guys are so awesome. So, guys, while we're here, let's continue a little bit. Let's walk around. Grand Central Terminal. Guys, I know that we've all been here before. And hey, Anya. Hey, RB joining us. Hello, Anya. <coughs> so guys, that was the Frida Kahlo exhibit. For those of you that are just joining us here in the live stream, you can always check out the replay we are here at Grand Central Terminal. Again, the very famous centerpiece here at Grand Central, the $20 million gold clock. There it is. There is that clock, guys. The centerpiece of Grand Central Terminal. Again, that clock is $20 million. It's an expensive clock, guys. Solid gold, $20 million. But at least it keeps good time. <laughs> Hello, Anya, how you doing? So guys, if you are in the New York City area and you wanna come down to Grand Central Terminal to check out the Frida Kahlo exhibit, it is free of charge. Here at Vanderbilt Hall at Grand Central. Come on, check it out. Anybody wanna go see the Long Island Railroad? We can take you down there for a few moments. And then probably wind things up. And this is the food court. And we'll head downstairs to Madison Concourse, down by the Long Island Railroad. And they saying, yes, please show us. I was thinking about taking the Long Island Railroad there. No problem. I know my way around here like the back of my hand. <laughs> like I said, like the back of my hand. Oh, gee, I didn't notice that. <laughs> is Grand Central Station open 24 hours a day? Yes, it is. It certainly is. Welcome to Grand Central Matters. MTA Arts and Design. Some photographs taken by some amateur photographers. Yes, that's right, Rev Jenny. That clock is worth $20 million. And these are all empty as of now. These are going to be future uh, stores that the MTA is hoping to get.
hopefully within the next couple of years. I mean, they're really hoping to get some occupancies here at Grand Central Terminal. So this part of Grand Central is called Grand Central Madison. L saying, is there some non-scary elevators that can take you back upstairs? Oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I mean, everything here is very, very safe. I mean, you know, I've, again, I've walked here, especially when I used to come home from my friend's house that live in Queens. Uh, if I would come home late at night, I mean, there was one time I didn't get home until after 1 a.m. So they do have these little pop-up shops here. But um, everything here at Grand Central is 99% is safe. I wouldn't say 100% because nothing is perfect, but I would definitely say 99%. And there's always police security here. So we'll take you down the very, very, very long escalator. The escalator takes over a minute and a half to get down. So we'll take you down. Here it is, guys. Very long escalator. And Virginia saying, yes, there are seven that you could take to get to, uh, to the lower level or from the lower level to the upper level. And yes, Holly, she'd say, and the robot cops keep you safe. The, the robot cops. Oh no, Elle saying this escalator gives her anxiety. Oh, I'm sorry, Elle. <laughs> I'm sorry. Elle, you could, you could look away until we get downstairs. I apologize. Yes, there are elevators, yes. Yes, El, there are elevators. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there, almost there. It's going a little bit faster than normal. Okay. So here we are down by the Long Island Railroad Concourse. There are four tracks. There's actually, I'm sorry, there are eight. No, 201, 202, 203, 20. There are four on the uh, 201, and then there's four upstairs also. So there's 301, 302, 303. Yeah, there are eight tracks. Eight tracks. And there's a train downstairs. There are two trains downstairs. Okay, you can see the train waiting down on the platform. I don't know where these trains are going. I don't think they have a destination as of yet. Yeah, these trains 
these trains don't have any destination. So upstairs is the the uh, the two hundreds, and downstairs is three hundreds. So currently, no destinations for these trains that are downstairs. Let's see if there's any destinations for the trains that are situated over here. And no destinations for these trains as of yet either. Also saying parts of these areas look like those liminal space videos. <laughs> you don't actually know L you you can you can take the elevator. The elevators are right over here. Here's an elevator right here. Okay, so you could definitely take you can definitely take the elevator. Okay, so there are elevators. And then let's see, maybe we could take the elevator upstairs. See? And let's see, there's a train on this side. I don't think this train has a destination yet either. No, nope. no destination for this train. Coastal saying peace and quiet, yes. And I love taking the Long Island Railroad. Seats are all so comfortable. Love the LIRR. But yes, Al, there are plenty of elevators, so you never have to worry. Take care, ARB Anya. I'm glad you were able to join us. And we're at an hour and 22 minutes into the live stream gonna head back upstairs to the main concourse
But again, L, yes, there are plenty of elevators that will take you up to the main concourse. L, you might want to look away because I'm going to go back up to this huge escalator. And hey, Christopher Dotson is here. Hey, Chris. If you are just joining us, guys, we are at Grand Central Terminal. We were here for the Frida Kahlo exhibit. In case you missed it, you can always go back and watch the replay. Again, it's a free exhibit. It's here until tomorrow. It's The hours are from 10 a.m. until 6 p.m in Vanderbilt Hall. Again, we're going to walk by it as soon as we get back up to the main concourse. Christopher saying this station is so huge. It really is, especially the escalator. But L, look away because I know, I know these escalators. You don't like the escalators. Coastal is saying, I'd like to watch more Grand Central Station walking streams. No problem. And okay, we're back up at the top. So again, guys, they are waiting for some more um, people to come and occupy the store space, the retail space here. Because as of right now, all they have these little vendor stations, these little kiosks. So they're just awaiting people to take over these storefronts over here again nobody's in here as of yet so a lot of open retail space and i think they're going to have a diner or a restaurant or several restaurants here but that's exactly what they want and it says, what would you do with 25,000 square feet of retail space in the heart of New York City? Make things happen. Partner with the NTA to develop a one-of-a-kind retail experience at Grand Central Madison as a retail master tenant. And here's the information and the QR code. So 25,000 square feet of retail space, 32 retail units awaiting a grand vision. And 47% of surveyed riders would consider skipping their train for retail. So again, you can see all of this retail space that's just awaiting tenants. <laughs> Quite you look and saying, I can answer that question, go into deep debt. <laughs> And again, all they have right now are these little kiosks.
JD saying, I wonder what the lease rates are? That's a very good question. Um, I would say that you'd have to have a lot of money. <laughs> you'd have to have a lot of money and you'd have to be a very well-known retailer to rent space here at Grand Central Madison. But yes, I, I am very, very sure that renting retail space here at Grand Central is very, very, very expensive. Train to Babylon, now boarding on track 201. Okay, so now we're gonna take the escalator back up to the food court. The dining concourse, as they put it. No, that's Long Island, Babylon. Babylon, Long Island. Okay, so now we're back up in the food court. Okay, and we'll walk back up. No problem, Virginia. No. And here we are back on the main concourse. Now again, the trains that you have here are the Metro North trains. All of the trains here on the main concourse are for Metro North. You got the Harlem and the Hudson line. That, you know something, Virginia? I think they do uh, have Airbnbs on Long Island. I think they do. And definitely, L. yes, we should all meet. Absolutely. The next time Virginia comes back up, we should definitely all meet. That would be awesome. Okay, so what we could do actually is we could take the escalator. Oh wait, actually, I think the last time I did that, we hit some buffering. So you know what, why don't we go back outside? Again, we'll pass by the Los Sabores de Mi Mexico exhibit, the Frida Kahlo exhibit. And again, for those of you that are not familiar with Frida Kahlo, all you gotta do is just look it up on the internet. She was a Mexican artist. and a very, very talented artist. There she is. And again, the exhibit is only going to be here until tomorrow.
and it's also sponsored by channel 41 noticias so here at grand central terminal vanderbilt hall if you're here anytime before tomorrow the exhibit will be open from 10 a.m until 6 p.m until tomorrow here at vanderbilt hall grand central terminal and again, it is the Frida Kahlo exhibit, Los Sabores de Mi Mexico. And hey, congratulations to Nick Johnson celebrating one month of membership. Plus, he just got an additional membership, courtesy of our wonderful friend, Brett M. Again, thank you so much, Brett. That was awfully, awfully nice. Let's go see what's going on outside. Ooh, I hear music. See what's going on, guys. Square restaurant right across the street. That's right, Sharon. Absolutely. New York always has so much going going on. Always a lot going on here in New York City. Never ever a dull moment here. That is for sure. Gorge is leaving us. Take care, Gorge. Feels got like it got a little bit warmer out. The temperature may have gone up a few degrees since I first got here. And this building right in front of me is one Vanderbilt. Of course, the summit at one Vanderbilt is also in this building. If you've never been to summit one Vanderbilt, you've got to check it out, guys. If you're again, if you're in New York City, you got to check out Summit 1 Vanderbilt. Get a beautiful, beautiful view. Of 
of course, at any one of these um, uh, uh, any, uh, let me try that again, guys. <laughs> uh, at any one of these observatories, guys, you're going to get views of Manhattan that are unbelievable. Unbelievable. You're going to get really, really great views. So whether it's Summit 1 Vanderbilt, whether it's uh, the Edge NYC, whether it's number one world observatory at the World Trade Center, doesn't matter, guys. Virginia's saying it's 52 degrees in Manhattan. Thank you, Virginia. Holly, she'd say, Mr. A, this is a fab tour with you. Thank you so much, Holly. Thank you. I appreciate that. Again, guys, please remember to hit that like button. Please subscribe and please share it with the world, guys. Let your friends and family know about Alan the Homie Food and Fun. You know what to do. Smash it, guys. If you're new, please subscribe. Hershey's kisses to everybody. Throwing out some kisses. Some Hershey's kisses. Showing you some love. You know that they go up and they always come right back down. D. Michael saying it's 53 degrees in the Mojave Desert. Out on the West Coast. 53 degrees. It's only 53. Only for the in the desert. Wow. That's odd. You would think in the desert it would be a lot warmer. Only 53 degrees in the Mojave Desert. Wow. Park Avenue right above us, guys. Going right through Grand Central. That's the overpass for Park Avenue. David Ben-Gurion Place. David Ben-Gurion, for those of you that are not familiar, was the first Prime Minister of Israel. David Ben-Gurion. Here on East 43rd Street in Vanderbilt. Of course, the former Pan Am building, now known as MetLife. There it is, the MetLife building, right in front of us. JD saying it warmed up to 39 degrees in the Canadian Rockies. And I think I missed some chat. Give me a second. Uh, oh, Jack wants to know when my next one is. Maybe tomorrow when Elle gets here, I'm not sure yet but definitely for the eclipse on Monday. Definitely, definitely for the eclipse on Monday. Now, I do have extra glasses, so if anybody wants to meet me and Elle, I believe we're going to be at the uh, Hayden Planetarium uh, Museum of Natural History on West 79th Street and Central Park West. So again, I do have extra glasses. If anybody is interested in meeting Elle and I, to see the solar eclipse, I do have extra glasses. And yes, they are the certified glasses. I made sure of it. They do have the special code on there. Now, why am I, why am I kilobyte numbers going down? I think we might be, I think the Wi-Fi signal may be going down. Oh, now it's going back up. I hope that there wasn't any uh, buffering, guys. But yeah, my numbers are going back up again. And I'm showing that there are 45 people here in the chat. Welcome to everybody, guys. 
Homies, if you're here just sitting on the sideline, please come on in, say hi, don't be shy. You know that's my motto. Of course, my other motto, as you all know, is how sweet it is. I think I'm gonna pop a squat for just a second. Ah, oh. Sit down for just a moment. Quite you're looking and saying, I think 7-Eleven is selling them for like $2. Well, I got five, uh, and I paid, what did I pay? Uh, forget what I paid. Wasn't that expensive. Wasn't that expensive. Lizzo saying, don't worry about your numbers. Yeah, no, I, I know. I just, no, nah, now I'm now I'm at a perfect 6,000 kilobytes, so we're, we're good. We're good. We are good. So I'm just here sitting outside of Grand Central. And yes, oh yes, I was telling Virginia last night, I was watching the news and they've already made a t-shirt that says, I survived the earthquake in New York City. Would you believe that? They've already, already made a t-shirt. The earthquake was just yesterday morning and they've already made a t-shirt. Unbelievable how fast these guys work and how much they wanna sell this. I mean, it is unbelievable. Hello, Mr. Pigeon. Hello there. Let's all say hello to Mr. Pigeon. Hello. And Holly, she's saying you're standing room only. <laughs> you're crowd, you cramp, you're still the champ. Amen for New York City. Thank you so much, Holly. That is so nice. Thank you. Sally Scipio is watching on her TV. That's awesome. That's usually what I do too. I um, I set it to broadcast uh, on my TV. So when I'm, you know, when somebody's live streaming, I'll, I'll cast it right onto my TV. So I usually do that too. It's, it's pretty cool. Lisa asking if I need a drink or anything to eat. You've been walking around a long time. Yes, as a matter of fact, I do need something. I'm going to grab a, a bite. <laughs> Caught you looking and saying, don't we have a deal with the pigeons? Of course, that's a line from Seinfeld. Those of you Seinfeld fans. I thought we had a deal with the pigeons. George. <laughs> and I was saying I fed them a donut the last time I was at Herald Square. Brett, I'm saying that, wow, that's fast. I never thought of making a t-shirt. I know, right? Already, I can't believe that they already have t-shirts. Now, oh, by the way, one thing I do want to do is uh, downstairs in the subway here at Grand Central, they are selling um, limited edition Metro cards for uh, Law & Order SVU. So I think I'm going to buy a couple and maybe I'll even give it away as a prize. A special edition Metro card. Law and Order SVU 25th anniversary. Now I already bought a whole bunch of things uh, that I'm also going to be giving away as prizes on future uh, members only live streams, trivia contest. So um, yes, so stay tuned for that guys. Of course, the end of this month, I will be doing, of course, my monthly members only live stream with trivia contest. And if those of you that have seen on my community page, I did post a picture of the book that Virginia, my dear, dear friend Virginia, bought for me for my first year anniversary here on YouTube. Again, thank you so much, Virginia. Virginia bought me this beautiful, beautiful book, 200 Facts About New York City. Fun facts. So I will be using that book for my trivia. So again, thank you so much, Virginia, for that. Christopher Dotson saying, yes, yeah, sometimes I'll watch live streams on my TV as well. Yes. I think, I don't know, for some reason, it's better than watching it on a phone. <laughs> of course, when I watch my replays, I always put it, I always cast it onto my TV. Just makes it look that much better watching it in full screen. Absolutely, Lisa. And again, I have the best people here in the chat. All of you are wonderful. 
every single person that's on this chat that's that, that comes to view my live streams i appreciate you all so so much you are all wonderful wonderful friends and i consider all of you my family my homie family you you guys are all awesome and, and as i always say you've heard me say this a half a million times i cannot do this without you guys i have not been able to do this without you guys thank you thank you thank you all so much lisa saying she likes watching from her laptop yes I, I mean i've done that too as a matter of fact sometimes on the laptop the stream is faster because for some reason on the phone it seems delayed but this seems like there's a very little delay when you watch on a laptop i don't know what the reason is but i i do agree uh, uh lisa yes i do agree absolutely rev jenny is watching on her big tv awesome That'll be original, sending some home emojis. Sending some Hershey's kisses and the blowing the kiss. Guys, little commercial break. <laughs> for those of you that are interested, for as little as $1.99 a month, you too can become a channel member. As little as $1.99 per month, you will have access to my special home emojis. You'll also have access to my monthly members only live streams lots more fun to be coming in months to come as we start our second year here on youtube alan the homie food and fun so glad that you're all here spending part of your saturday with me saturday afternoon i do thank you so much you guys are awesome i love you all thank you homies Enjoy Nantucket saying thank you, Alan. You're very welcome. Enjoy Nantucket. Yes, exactly, Lisa. There is a difference. I'm telling you. There's a difference in in there's there's a delay when you watch on your on your phone as opposed to if you watch it on a laptop. I don't know why. But yes, there is a time difference. I mean it's it's a matter of a fraction of seconds. You know, it's not it's not a matter of like minutes, but yeah, it's like a fraction of a few seconds. But yes, there is a difference. I've noticed that. Holly's saying, Mr. A, your genuine joy to share your New York City perspectives makes uh, makes hearts smile. Thank you so much, Holly. Holly, you are awesome. Thank you. Now, Holly, I know that I've seen you in Roy's channel many, many times. And guys, please check out Roy Explores. Please check out Roy's channel. I know Roy's not here right now, but guys, please tune into Roy's channel. Roy has some awesome, awesome streams. Please check out Roy's channel. His sunsets are gorgeous from San Francisco, California. Guys, please check out Roy Explores. And anybody else that has a channel, of course, Lisa UK Girl has a channel. Please check out Lisa's channel. And guys, also, I know that our dear friend, um, uh, Ricardo, cool guy, check out cool guy's channel. Guys, if you do have a YouTube channel, please, all you have to do is type in exclamation point L-I-N-K. I'll show you how it's done, guys. There it is. Don't forget to add your YouTube channel to the chat. Simply type in exclamation L-I-N-K in the chat and your YouTube channel will appear in the chat. We want everyone to subscribe to your channel. So do it now, do it now. And there we go. Lisa just posted her channel. Thank you, Lisa. You're welcome. L-I-S-A-U-K girl. Guys, again, please. Our channel subscribers and channel members, if they have a channel here on YouTube, please check them out, guys. Please subscribe to their channels. And once they reach 500 subscribers, that's when they can become monetized.
Yvonne Hernandez just posted his YouTube channel. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you so much. Please check out Yvonne's channel as well. And we are approaching almost with seven minutes shy of two hours. And I am gonna have to grab a bite someplace. I don't know where, but, and I don't think I'm gonna stream from any place right now because I do need to get back home. Um, I do have something important that I have to take care of at home. So I do need to get back home. Not that it's a far ride from here. I just have to go back downstairs here at Grand Central to the subway and hop on the train. So not like I have far to go, but I'll, I'll probably grab, maybe I'll just grab something quick inside uh, of Grand Central. I do like the pretzels at Zaro's. Zaro's Bakery, by the way, guys. If you're not familiar with Zaro's, Z-A-R-O apostrophe S. Guys, you gotta check out Zaro's Bakery. Oh my God, their black and white cookies are awesome. The black and white. I can't do Jerry Seinfeld. I'm sorry, guys. My Jerry Seinfeld impression is terrible. But the black and white cookie. Red, I'm asking if I have merch. Oh, yes, I do. Absolutely, yes. If you go to my uh, the, my main channel page, uh, you could take a look there. I do have a link for my merchandise. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, of course, I do always thank Jack, Major Minis, for creating my logo. Thank you again, Jack. And, of course, Brett M. for creating that beautiful, beautiful border. So again, thank you so much to Brett M for creating my border and thank you to Jack Major Minis for creating my awesome logo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I'm definitely gonna get something else, absolutely. Yvonne saying, hey Alan, I live in the Bronx. My parents were actually both born and raised in the Bronx. My parents are both unfortunately deceased, but um, they were both born and raised in the Bronx. And that's why I'm such a huge Yankees fan. I was born and raised in Queens, in the Douglaston area, Douglaston Little Neck. And of course, as most of you that were here for my members only live stream last weekend a lot of my questions uh were based on um one of my first videos which was done from my hometown of douglaston and thank you again lisa just posted jack's instagram page for his amazing models guys please check out jack's instagram page his models, his miniatures are awesome. Awesome. Guys, check it out. And Holly Sheet, yes, no problem, Holly. Absolutely. Absolutely. My mods are the best. My mod squad is awesome. Guys, check it out. Please give a big thumbs up to my awesome mod squad. Virginia, HC teacher, Ricardo, cool guy, Lisa, UK girl, Wolfgang Productions, that's our dear friend Luna, of course, Danette and Anthony, Karina Thompson, Desi Des, Emily Gangadeen, L the original, and I still have to add our friend Caught You Looking. As a matter of fact, I wonder if I could do it. I think I could do it from here. Or actually, no, I'd have to do it from my other phone. I could actually probably do it if I watched the replay. Let's see. I probably have to watch the replay to do it.
but if you give me a second, I might be able to do it right from here. Let's see. Yes, I can. There we go. Okay. I just added what you're looking as a moderator. So there we go. All set. Okay. And now I could shut this off. There we go. Okay, so now Court You're Looking has been added as a moderator. Jack's saying the link is broken. Oh no. Which link is that, Jack? Is that the link to the Instagram? To your Instagram? Okay, Lisa just posted it again. Luna just got back from walking Mick Jagger, now making tea. Sounds good, Luna. And we're about 30 seconds from two hours in the live stream. And we definitely can't wait for Elle's next live stream. And Elle will be here tomorrow. So guys, hopefully I will do a live stream tomorrow if we don't get a chance to do it tomorrow, we will definitely, definitely be live on Monday for the eclipse. Caught you looking, saying, what happened? The intro just came on? What intro? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Virginia is saying, sorry, I had a neighbor at my door, so I just got back too. No problem. Not a problem. And of course, thank you, Luna, for saying that. Please like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate it. And of course, guys, please, please, let's help out by leaving a comment or two or three or four. <laughs> If you do leave a comment, guys, please do so. I do appreciate it. And we are at two hours now, or just about now, two hours and one minute. There we go. So I think I'm going to run back downstairs into Grand Central and grab a quick bite. Again, guys, a big, big thumbs up for my awesome, awesome moderators, my awesome mod squad, and a huge thumbs up to all of you, every single person that's been here today. 43 people here in the chat right now, guys. Guys, you are awesome. And I see my battery is going down to 30%. Now I do have my battery pack. I could always plug the phone back in, but I do have to get back home because there is something that I do need to take care of of, of importance at home. So I do have to take care of that. So um, I am going to grab a quick bite here at Grand Central. And then I'm going to head home. Now, oh, oh, you know what? L, oh, I have, I actually have an extra, um, I, I have an extra uh, um, gimbal. So, L, I, I don't know if you want to start your live stream when we meet up, but I could always lend you one of my gimbals, L, if you want to do that. And, oh, Luna, are you going to meet me for the eclipse? That's a good question. L is asking if you're going to meet, uh, meet us for the eclipse. So Luna, it's up to you. If you do want, you can. Now again, we're gonna be on the west side. We're gonna be at the Museum of Natural History. 
Irma saying I've had a nice time with you. Thank you so much, Irma. I appreciate it. But again, I do want to thank all of you guys, my homies, my family. Thank you all so, so much for being here. Virginia just posted Major Minnie's YouTube channel this time. So you can always check out Major Minnie's Jack's YouTube channel as well as his Instagram page. Oh no, she won't. Uh, Luna will not be meeting us on Monday. That's okay. No problema. Luna said, I'm going to meet you at 4 p.m. on a warm day. Uh, not a problem. Not a problem. Spring is here. It's going to start getting warmer. Not a problem, Luna. But again, guys, as I was saying, I cannot do this without you guys. You guys are all awesome. Again, thank you to Major Minis. Thank you to uh, Brett M for gifting five memberships. I thought it was only one, but it was five memberships. Thank you, Brett M. Thank you, Desi Des, for your super sticker. Thank you. Um, and to anybody else that sent a super chat or a super sticker, thank you all so, so, so much. I appreciate every single person that has done everything in here to help me out, to support my channel. Thank you all so, so much. Guys, you're all awesome. I love you all. Hershey's kisses to everybody. Mwah, mwah. I love you all, guys. Um, guys, you're awesome. I uh, And again, thank you to Jack. Um, thank you to everybody, guys. You're awesome. I love you all. And Michelle Marie is here. Hey, Michelle. How you doing? We are here at Grand Central Terminal. We, we're here for the Frida Kahlo exhibit. Um, again, uh, I'm just about to wrap up the live stream, but you can always check out the replay at your own leisure. But I do thank you all for joining me here today, guys. You are all awesome. Guys, I think we're going to wrap things up. This live stream is just about over and done. Make your life sweeter with food and fun. If you're ever in need of anything to do, always know that the homie will be there for you. And guys, life is full of a bunch of hits and misses. I leave you now and bid you adieu until next time with hugs and Hershey's kisses. Love you all, guys. Thank you all so much. And uh, again, Elle will be here tomorrow. And let's check out Elle's live stream. If she does live stream, let's all check it out. We will all be there for you, Elle. And thank you all so much, guys. Love you all. I'm going to get my outro ready to go. So I'm going to wave goodbye to you now. Bye-bye, everybody. I love you all. Have a great day. Be well, be safe. How sweet it is. And we will see you again either tomorrow or definitely on Monday. Love you guys. Take care. Let me get the outro ready to go. And there we go. Thank you all, guys. Love you. Bye. Fun.